All right. I would have tried to get this video done before Halloween, but it's going to come out after Halloween, so big deal. This is Boom Shots and Snipes. Sorry. Boom Shots and Snipes. And it's the pumpkin head edition because they put pumpkin heads on all our characters, making it a lot easier to get headshots. I wish I recorded the match I did earlier where I got a headshot with a boom shot. That shit was funny to me. I couldn't even believe I got a headshot with a boom shot. I mean, it's so random and shit, you know what I mean? But I do like this game type where it makes us have to fall back and snipe or boom. Boom to me is pretty fun. In this one, I become the best of 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 the best. Try to say that real fast. I'm just joking. I'm not one of the best. <laughs> um, in this one, this is a very long video. I am sorry. Even though you only had to win two rounds, it was kind of a back and forth thing until the last round. Pissed me off, but that's okay. This is just another Gears of War video added to my video collection. And then more Dragon Ball will be put later on. I've been heavily working on my character, so that's why I haven't been really playing some online matches. And putting it out as quickly as possible as most people have been wanting me to do. But I'm sorry, there's other games to play. And lo and behold, the DLC for Batman Arkham City and Gears of War 3 will be out. And I can't wait for those. And then next week, Modern Warfare 3 and everyone's going to be off of uh, Gears of War 3. Thank God, because hopefully most of those Lancer pussies or Retro Lancer pussies will be on that game and not playing Gears. Hopefully. That is my, uh, how I would say, wish. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Match just started. We're getting out there. Gonna get my kill on, y'all. Gonna get my kill on. You know? I wanted to do a Sherman voice in, in one of these games one day. Just because. I mean, you do it in Call of Duty. It's so common. But, you know, in this game, there is some people that actually talks in game chat. One day, you know, Sherman's gonna come around. Like, hey, guys. How you doing tonight? And then I'll be like, oh, yeah. It's that guy. <laughs> I'm still surprised I never ran into any YouTube viewer who knows about that voice and hearing that. And they'll be like, oh my god, it's you, Natcher, holy shit. I'm just kidding. Um, I also noticed I've been getting more friend requests. Guys, it's just going to sit there and eventually I'll probably accept because I want to do tournaments every Sundays and we're going to need players. Nice. Players of the good kind. If you know what I mean. The elites. <laughs> Cybermen elites. But. This will do. <clears throat> But this is Gears of War 3. Can't wait for the extra characters. We already got a planned deal where we're going to have all Onyx characters except for one guy. One guy will be Prescott. And I will be Prescott! Because I want to be Prescott. You got a problem with that? No? Alright, then fine. Oh, you got a problem with that? You way back over there? Okay. You know what? Keep it to yourself because I really don't want to hear it. I like Prescott. I just like him because everybody hates him. It's it's just one of those things where oh you don't like the guy well I'll play him then because you obviously don't like the guy. Like I always tell like I was telling all Wave and Sovereign them, if it wasn't for Prescott handing over that information about Marcus Phoenix's dad, then none of that shit would have fucking ended. We would still be at war. I'll take those. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just hoping that they do make a Gears of War four. They're like you know oh my god more Lucas has arrived. Just because he killed the queen and then he put out that thing that killed all the locusts doesn't mean it killed everything. There has to be some other, you know, shit. Or maybe be like, 20 years have passed and the new locust has arrived. Some shit like that. Or if they make a prequel where Marcus Phoenix is not the main character, I will be pissed. Because Marcus Phoenix is my favorite character out of, of all the Gears games. Next to Prescott, just because I picked Prescott because it's funny. And I'm so surprised that uh, they never even make, like, cyborgs in this. I mean, you got floating robots like Jack. Yeah, you don't even got a fucking cyborg. Oh, well. I can't wait for the DLC, though. I really want the DLC to come out. ASAP. I want to play it already. Oh, well, it's probably going to be out by the time this video is uploaded anyway. So, ha! All right. There's going to be times where I do long pauses, people. Because... This is a long ass video and I need to figure out what the hell I want to talk about in this video besides the gameplay where I'm trying to creep around just so I can get some headshots or boom shots in just to get some kills because everyone likes to rush where people will camp and snipe. I get it. It's common in every fucking shooter, but I can't wait for November 4th 
when Tribes Ascend Beta will be out, and I'll be on that game, and I will be playing that shit and enjoying it, and I will be recording some of those matches. Because I like Tribes Ascend, and if you don't like it, tough luck. It's free to play. Check it out on the PC. Go to tribesascend.com. Check that shit out. Check out the game. I already signed up for the VIP thing, so I am status. And I can't wait for that shit. Tri I'm an old school Tribes player. Tribes 1 and 2. Never really into Tribes Vengeance. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the characters. And then now we're on to Tribes Ascend. Supposedly the fourth Tribes, I believe. And that game is going to be the bomb. Compared to how I got killed by the boom shot. Boom. How do you like that creeper out and kill where I just shot the ground? Die, motherfucker. Ten minutes of commentary and a long ass thing. I mean, 20 minutes. 20 fucking minutes is kind of breathtaking. Like, come on. When I, when I had that Saints Row video up, which, by the way, had to be removed because of copyright infringement, THQ, and uh, some independent music. So I was like, fine, I'll remove it. it. The audio was fucked up anyway, and anybody can get the initiation station. It's no big deal. I just did, I just thought the sex appeal shit was funny, in my opinion. Like, who the fuck would put that shit up? Like, that's stupid. i never seen any game where you decide the bulge of your character. It's funny, and we all know, like I said, someone's going to be compensating for something, right? <laughs> so... This pumpkin head thing is just weird to me. Though. So does this mean when Christmas time come around, are we going to have Santa heads? And then when uh, Thanksgiving comes up, are we going to have like pilgrim and Indians? You know what I mean? And then um, of course, uh, I, 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 not highly, it's most likely they're going to have rabbit heads on the fucking uh, Easter day. You know? How about New Year's Eve? Are we, are, is our weapons going to be blowing up like fireworks? Epic, are you listening? <laughs> that would be pretty fucking funny in my opinion if they did that shit. So I'm over here. Last guy alive. Get a few couple kills at the end of this round. One down. Another one. And I managed to get away. Try to reload. Try to pick up ammo. Just so I get it. But I died. Because somebody was already around the corner on the other side that I wasn't paying attention to. And I'm dumb for not paying attention to the other side. Oh, man. <clears throat> so I went to Subway again. Remember how I told you guys not to get that meatball marinara? Well, some people say, oh, you got to get it. It's actually good. It's really all right. It's not that great. I thought it would be really good, but it's not. I prefer pastrami. And right now it's any October, any October or some shit like that where it's $6 footlongs, but it's only on the regulars and pastrami is not a regular, it's a premium. That sucks. So I ended up just getting me a steak melt, which is all right. It's not the greatest. And uh, chicken and bacon. Ranch. I love that shit. I don't know. I got to stick to turkey though. I need to get me turkey. And I need to go grocery shopping. You guys ever done grocery shopping? I mean... I'm the kind of guy that doesn't doesn't want to buy too much because I know I'm not going to eat too much anyway. Mostly just going to stick with salads, cereals, and fruits, and whatever I can cook when I come home. Most of my shit right now, since I'm home alone for another month and a half, probably going to have to um, pick up more microwavable foods. Because uh, when I come home, I don't want to be cooking at 2 in the fucking morning for dinner. At 2 in the fucking morning! That's just too late for dinner, man. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that, you know, yesterday, I was supposed or the other day, I was supposed to clean my fish tank, right? And I opened it up to my surprise. I see baby fishes in my fish tank. Can you believe that? I had baby fishes in my fish tank, and I don't even know which fish gave birth. I have a lot of platies. I have one koi, and that one koi obviously didn't give birth. I have one angelfish. Obviously, the angelfish didn't give birth. I have a guppy, and I used to have a bunch of guppies, but most of them died, so I only have one left. Maybe it was that one guppy. And, uh, ee, I'm just watching my guppy right now eat a dead leaf. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe it's the platies, because I have, like, five of them in here. So, who knows? And to be honest, I think they eat all the babies, because I wasn't, you know, trying to protect the babies. I was like, oh, look, they're all hiding 
on top of the leaf where the fishes can still go and swallow them whole. Yes, I am a cruel man. I could have protected those babies, but I never had anything safe to put them in and leave them in the tank. All right. And I didn't want to change the water and then put the babies in and they die instantly because they're not used to the water. So, yeah, I'm just so surprised I had baby fishes, dude. Honestly, Marcus Phoenix was a daddy, even though he's not in my statue. I mean, my fish tank anymore. Sorry, I, I honestly, I had to take out the Marcus Phoenix statue. And it's so messed up because I lost the freaking uh, Lancer gun for the statue. So now it's just Marcus Phoenix holding absolutely nothing. It's a waste of a statue, to be honest with you. And <laughs> I'm fucking owning right now with the boomy. You guys notice that if you guys are paying attention to the actual gameplay, I am actually doing pretty well in this game. Yes, I am the top killer on my team. Surprisingly, I am the top killer on my team. Back to my fishes. They look so pretty. I'm looking at them right now. Did I say pretty? I meant they're fucking awesome. Have you ever, like, go to Walmart and you see that really, 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 really cheap fish? The feeders that are only, like, 52 cents? You ever thought to yourself, feeders, huh? They probably feed them to the Oscars. Wait, I would like to buy a couple of those. Only because you would like to rescue them from being eaten from another fish. Well, I did. I bought two of them out of, like, the 50 that they had in the tank. <laughs> and one of them already died. Died because it wasn't eating. The other one is just fucking grinding and it's getting bigger. And I like that. Kind of looks like a fish I can cook on the grill. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. No. I don't even know what kind of fish it is. It's like, they just named it Feeder. And I'm like, come on, there's a real name for this fish. This fish looks cool. But it's a nice fish, and I keep it, so it's not a feeder. It is my nice fish. The koi is obviously getting bigger, and I don't know why the hell I'm talking to you guys about my fish. So over here, I'm trying to snipe with the boom shot. Have you guys ever tried that shit? I fucking love trying to hit people from far away, far away with the boom shot and having those people unexpectedly get killed because they never expected a boom shot to hit them from far away. I fucking love that. I wish... I am wishing, hoping, and praying... That Epic will leave these kind of game types open for us to play um, anytime we want. I mean, yeah, we can just do this in private matches, but how boring would that be? Always playing against the same old people or bots. It gets fucking boring. We want to play against randoms. All right? Epic, if you're listening, make this a fucking playlist. Bring back just how about, and bring back the Nasher playlist. Just leave it as Nashers and, uh, yeah, just Nashers. Just leave those kind of playlists, man. It, like, it'll be fun. Just matter of fact, you can make one game type and call it uh, epic gameplay or some shit. I don't know. You guys figure it out. By the way, I would like Epic to hand over my tricycle that Paul Jr. Designs have designed. That's actually for me, not for Gears. I paid him way before you guys even thought of making it. He made it for me, but he gave it to you guys. You sons of bitches. Give me back my bike. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, man. Oh, I've been contemplating, too, on picking up Uncharted 3 for the PS3. Even though I don't really play anything on the PS3, I was contemplating on it. And I thought to myself, eh, well, I'm going to have to play Part 2 still because I never beat Part 2. I did beat Part 1, and I thought the game was fucking epic. So I'm going to have to play Part 2 again, and then, I, then I'll be able to play Part 3. But for now, I'm in no rush to get it. I'm really in no rush to get anything. Look, I pre-ordered Battlefield 3 off of uh, Amazon, and it hasn't even arrived yet. And it's been a week already since the release, and it hasn't even gotten here. So when Saints Row the Third comes out, I'm going to be one of the late starters because I pre-ordered it off Amazon, and it's just going to come in the mail when it comes in the mail. Same thing's going to happen with WWE 12. I'm in no rush to get WWE 12. I'm, I'm like not even looking forward to it that much. Who knows though? I might just get it right off the bat instead of pre-ordering. And then Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, of course I pre-ordered that because I'm in no rush to get Ultimate Marvel. I don't know, the fighting genre to me totally changed to where it's just stupid. And like, everything is all about just fucking dial a combo. It's, it's not about fucking being all tactical. Well, I could be wrong, but whatever's. I'm just looking at my fish right now, they're tripping me out. Sometimes, before my koi used to like swim around the tank really fast just to be pissed off. Now he's like, oh, I'm just chilling. And I'm telling you now, dude, this koi has gotten bigger. Every time I look at him, it's like, dude, you're getting big. And I'm thinking to myself, should I just, re should I just get a bigger tank? 
seriously, man. This 10 gallon tank is not big enough for this fucking koi. I need like a freaking 20 gallon at least. Look at this. Look at that koi, man. That koi is so nice. So happy I got him. Got him from Petco for six bucks. Three to four inch. Now he's like five inch. Five or six inch. He's getting big. He's gonna get to that point where I'm gonna have to fucking donate him to like the mall that has koi's. Hey, you want a koi? Cause uh, this koi is getting way too big, and I don't feel like cooking him for dinner. <laughs> and my brother told me that day out in uh, the Big Island, they got a stream where you can stream. I mean, fish for koi's and eat them. He even said there's restaurants serving koi's to eat. I never ever heard of that. To be honest with you, I don't even want to try to eat a koi fish. That's just wrong. So wrong indeed. So I'm over here trying to snipe this motherfucker who is a CPU. Sorry if I wasn't talking so much about the game. I'm talking random here, man. Because this isn't Dragon Ball. This is Gears of War 3. What else is there to talk about? Boom, I popped the head. Yay. I'm going to Hawaii. Yay. Oh, and did you guys watch the new Beavis and Butthead cartoon? Because I'm going to tell you now, don't watch that shit. All it is is some new some new drawings with mixed with the old school original artwork. It's it's not that great. Maybe funny, but in the era of fucking emo music, pop hip hop or hip hop and all that shit, Beavis and Butthead is totally out of their league. I mean, it's they're out of their atmosphere, out of their comfort zone. I mean, when I remember watching Beavis and Butthead, they were all like grunge metal music, everything. They're still rocking the ACDC Metallica shirts. Who the fuck rocks those shirts in today's uh, fucking trends and shit? Nobody really does. They'll probably sport shit like fucking, I don't know, fucking Lady Gaga shit. That would be horrible to see fucking Beavis in that shit, you know what I mean? Carton Holy All. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're going to inspire more kids to set fires because that's what they used to do. When they were, um... When Beavis and Butthead first came to MTV, they used to go, fire, fire, fire. That's what Beavis used to say a lot. And then some kid in the mainland set his home on fire all because of that shit. And then Beavis had to change his whole fire gimmick. He couldn't say it no more. So that's why I'm telling you guys now, don't watch the new Beavis and Butthead. You're going to be disappointed. It's not the same. Don't support that shit. Watch Blue Mountain State. That shit is fun. So now it's down to wave. Wave trying to handle his own here. One on one against. Oh, it's two against five. Wave and uh, some other dude. The other dude, I was trying to tell him. Oh no, the other dude is hiding all the way at the beach. That's why I remember. This is Danny. So trying to tell Wave, watch out. Wave trying to do his best. Wave trying to snipe here. He should have got that headshot. Boom, but he died from the boom shot. Then this motherfucker, who's an idiot, but I guess like it's understandable he wasn't paying attention. He didn't even notice. The enemy. Watch. Look at this. Fucking enemy is running up to him right now. You can clearly see that shit. You'll see it. And he didn't even fucking notice it until afterwards. And then he got shot, but he survived the sniper rifle shot. And then he tried to fucking corner shoot the boom shot without aiming, which is sometimes right, sometimes wrong. But it goes right through the motherfucker. He runs away and gets killed. Yeah, I ruined the fucking ending of this video. Big fucking deal. <laughs> you guys probably would have fast forwarded anyway just to see who won this fucking game because it is boom snipes with pumpkin heads we can't wait until uh there's more more of these funny game types and thank god this was event so the match is over i am mvp of my team clap your hands for me thank you very much and um, pretty much this is one long boring commentary and I'm sorry to bore you guys. So wake up because it's time to move on to the next video. So anyway, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my shit. If you don't, then I don't care. Whatever. Please subscribe and like, please. <laughs> anyway, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Aloha. K. Den. Bye.